So that's the beauty of music. So we are so happy that he's here and uh, looking forward to lots of stuff happening in the future. Yeah, we'll come to you, Mr. Axel. How how do you find uh, Bombay, Mumbai? Oh. It's super intense. Okay. <laughs> uh, which is uh, which is uh, why now when we are sitting in a music studio, yeah. when I was outside, I was like, how is there going to be a music studio that has a quiet spot <laughs> in Mumbai? But actually, we are sitting in one right now, and uh, it feels like you know it. When you go to studio as a musician, you feel at home a little bit. So wherever you are in the world, when you come to studio, you feel something like a little bit at home. And, and when it comes to musicians, we all share this same kind of childish Energy. joy yeah. and yeah. happiness yeah. about music. Right. So we can all sort of connect on that, you know. So you, yeah. you know, when you meet musicians, it's always a little bit that, you know, okay. you, you you feel like you know each other a little bit. Yeah. So did you listen to uh, Shankar Asan Loy's music? Because they have been in the industry and they have been making great music which will make you cry mm. and uh, make you feel all the emotions yeah and you know there, there is always one track uh, from a bhag mil ka bhag which makes me uh, run in my treadmill <laughs> and there will be some other akshay kumar track which will make me cry but that's know? what i like here. yeah that's what i like about india because you know in sweden we don't really have a strong tradition like that mm. when it comes to swedish folk music it's not something that we uh, are pr proud about or something that we having movies or anything like that so that's why it's so interesting here how how much pride and joy it is about this yeah. type of music and why i'm here now is is because most of the time when i come here it's about me and me <laughs> coming and doing a show sure. and going back yes, home yeah. but this time i wanted to figure out more yeah. about india and the music <laughs> so you have been uh, one of the pioneers of electronic dance music but now uh, edm has uh, taken a very different route uh, all over the world especially india what do you think about it i mean for me it's a, a crazy journey when you think about it when i started to make music the idea was just to make something sound like something mm. and then <laughs> the step two was to make it sound like something else and then in the end trying to when you knew, when you knew how to make it you tried to create something your own now you know coming here for 10 years it's been a crazy journey and uh, in general music has gone through a crazy journey this last couple of years because mm. everything is moving so fast so one style comes up and the same time that it's being presented to the world it's dead because <laughs> then it's another style yeah. coming up yeah. and then there's another style so if, if styles are dying and coming so fast that you can't even speak about music anymore yeah. in different styles it's more like one for me at least when it comes to dance music you you i just i just do music with dance you know yeah. and, and and just there's all styles can happen at same times now right. there's yeah. no like wh how it was 15 years ago when i yeah. made techno it, you had to be between mm -hmm. certain boundaries for right. it to be techno right. now you just now it's just music right it's just literally just music, so there's no rules anymore. Uh, EDM, as you know, Shankar San Loy, you know, you have been doing a lot of good music. What do you think about EDM as a genre? Basically, a good song is a good song. You know, when you present a good song, it could be just with an acoustic guitar, and it will still sound good, and it can even become big. So, you know, eventually it's the songwriting which is important, and, you know, we've been hearing some of his new stuff. Really which is good. beautiful songwriting. I think that's the difference between yeah. his music and, you know, yeah. some of the stuff that you heard. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's good EDM with good songwriting on that's that. That combination connects. is yeah. killer. You know, there's a lot of EDM with not good songwriting. Exactly. So that is, you know, I mean, you can have any kind of song and put whatever production you want. Right. It be it'll it won't sound like a good song. This is yeah. true. Yeah. This this uh, this statement what you're saying keeps coming back to me. Yeah. You forget it. Yeah. But uh, but it's still there. And sometimes you put out a song and you worked on it so hard and on the production and the drums and then for some reason it doesn't connect. You're like what. What's wrong with and then you think to yourself actually how was the song you know so this is true yeah, but it's a lot, 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 I mean you know I mean even even if you look at some of the hip hop guys like mm. Tupac and mm. these guys they always say saying man we, you know for us the song is, mm. is, is the lyrics and the words you think you can come yeah. in and put whatever kick and you know work <laughs> the night we don't give a shit about it yeah. we want a good song <laughs> no but that's that that is the truth but me coming from a strictly electronic background right. that was wasn't always the case 
because right. then it was about sounds sound, and yeah. the kick yeah, drum yeah, and, yeah, and uh, yeah. so that's something that I've been sort of discovering throughout the years okay. rather than having it from a starting point so that's something that I keep discovering I was uh, actually it worked because it was a good song yeah. now I know you know <laughs> any song from Bollywood which is uh, done by them or any Bollywood song which is your favorite actually I haven't been able to figure out a favorite yet because you know like I said this this journey now is about finding out the answers right to those questions in my life that mm -hmm. I need to find out. It's just, to me, it's just been like a vibe mm -hmm. that I've been interested in. And like I said, even if I've been coming here for 10 years, it's just been like three hours at a time. Mm. But this time, it's not so much about show as it is as, you know, experiencing new stuff. Uh, any Hindi words you learned uh, uh, which you want to say to the people of Bombay? What? Yes, of course. To India in general and to Mumbai, Bombay, I want to say Namaste. Thank you for having me. Kiri say, I love you guys. 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 Kiri say, I love